Hey folks, as you know, I'm an Apple fanboy and um, well, this is my new MacBook Pro. It's not the custom one, it's the 2018 MacBook Pro with 16 gigs of RAM and 512 SSD. Hope you guys can see this. Um, and an Intel Core i7 with uh, 2.6 gigs of um, power processor and it's got the Radeon Pro 560X I like making YouTube videos, um, I do video processing, I do some power stuff for work and uh, well, somehow my previous MacBook Air uh, 2013 wasn't just good enough. So what's in the box? In the box is the new MacBook Pro 2018 and it's coming out really hard from this box because you know it's an Apple product and the Apple product you're supposed to be thrilled about it and not you know just pop the lid Whew. got that done pop the lid very quickly you have to wait for it you know to to build up some tension and here it is the new MacBook Pro um, it's actually the space gray version because I wanted that um, and obviously I have unboxed this before um, so basically when you do it for the first time you have um, a little notch here that you can pull so one of my biggest fears when uh, buying this laptop was the um, thing you know everybody talked about the heating problem um, well concerning the heating problem I have some good news and some bad news and well, everybody talks about the computer heating up pretty fast, but one of the many features that this computer has is, well, it's a pro, meaning that it's not supposed to stay cool and quiet. I don't need a quiet computer when I'm video editing 4K files or RAW files. This computer needs to get the job done. And when it comes to getting the job done, well, I, I will show you in a moment what, what I'm talking about. Let me set this up and I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, so um, welcome back everyone. This is the graphical interface of um, the new MacBook Pro, which is basically <laughs> the graphical interface of the macOS Mojave, the um, new Macintosh, the new uh, Mac OS version 10.14.1 and as you can see this is the MacBook Pro 15-inch 2018 with this new Core i7 processor from Intel with 2.5 gigahertz, 16 gigs of RAM and um, the Radeon um, Pro um, I believe it's 560 so anyhow um, here we'll see the only the Intel graphics because basically depending on the needs of the computer it will switch between the Intel onboard uh, graphic chip and um, Radeon Pro one when um, things are heating up sort of and uh, <laughs> yeah about heating um, that's one of the points of our of our review I'm not going to do um, much um, you know, um, expected technical review because I'm, I'm not a tech person. I'm just a regular guy using this computer to um, make videos and uh, make stuff at work. So let's get to that. The main concern of people buying uh, Apple computer is, well, I'm going to spend this a ton of money, a lot of money, and uh, I don't know, get a product that heats and um, well you know something is wrong with it and I'm ending up spending 3,500 or even more on a MacBook computer that will be not as useful as a frying pan okay so 
I'm going to show you that buying the new MacBook Pro 2018 is not a mistake. When you're spending some money on a new computer, you have to future-proof it because it's not like you're buying, you know, shoes that in the next season you'll hate and throw away. But anyhow, that's my point of view. I know there's a ton of you out there that will not be okay with it, that will say, oh, okay, spend less money on the computer, let it lose its value over time, and then, you know, sell it as a second-hand computer and buy maybe a new one or buy a second-hand computer. I'm not cool with that. I just want my uh, products to be unpacked by me. But enough talk. Um, one of the main reasons that I'm using MacBook is because I haven't been using anything else for the last six years. So I'm going to fire up this Intel Power Gadget, which is a little software from Intel made to monitor the power frequency, temperature and utilization. Um, well, as you can see, it makes these nice little graphs, but I'm, I'm sure everybody's familiar with it. Actually, it was um, it was a thing, I believe, this summer when um, a paranoia was uh, started around uh, this Intel Power Gadget, meaning that when the new MacBook, uh, this MacBook uh, edition was released, Intel actually, you know, uh, took off this uh, power gadget from their website so it couldn't be downloaded anymore because people would uh, download it and see that the temperature goes way up and the computer um, actually uh, decreases its uh, performance to uh, manage that, uh, that heat. Um, and I believe um, that was actually true, not the fact that Intel corroborated with Apple to um, not make their software available, but it was true that the, the computer um, somehow, you know, decreased the, the frequency of the, the processor when it, uh, things got really, really hot. But I believe Apple fixed that with um, a macOS update for the MacBook Pro. I'm going to show you that this computer can face and can do, you know, the, the job it's supposed to. First of all, let us download um, a CPU stress test Prime 95. Maybe you have heard of it. I if you didn't heard of it, you can go to this link. So you just Google Prime 95 and the first link is, you know, there. Um, their website. It looks like in 1991, but uh, I promise you it will get the job done. Let's download this this thing. So if you look at this readme text, you will see that uh, you know they say this program is used to uh, find Mercini prime numbers, so it stresses out the CPU. There are two ways to use this program. The automatic way uses a central server, which is called the PrimeNet server, to get work to do and report the result, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, it will probably tell you what this is all about, but we're, we're just trying to stress our CPU. Yeah, I know the software is from an unidentified developer and we need to open it anyway. Okay. Um, yeah, we don't want to create a. Okay. I don't think that will run it every day. And. We're on. Let us fire up the Intel Power Gadget. And we have seen the temperature has gone way up because it's stressing out the CPU and the GPU. And you will probably start hearing the um, coolers firing up. Okay, so 
so the coolers are firing up I believe you are hearing them right at this moment let's see if I move the mic closer to the computer Yeah, but you can hear them loud and clear, so the coolers are firing up. They are full throttle. The temperature has gone to 96, but now if you can see, as the cooler kicked in, the temperature will start dropping. So they're quite efficient and they won't let the Intel CPU get to 100 disease, I promise you that. I actually haven't done this test before, so it's a new thing for me too. Anyway, um, well, if you live it like this, it will run forever. So th the the CPU will, you know, will not be powering down because the uh, you know this this prime 95 worker is stressing it but as you can see the coolers already managed to drop the temperature from the 97 to 91 92 degrees okay and i want to show you just how efficient they are okay we're just gonna stop the test okay everything is stopped you can see the coolers are still working okay they're throttling at full speed and the CPU is cooling down so I guess I convinced you guys that there's no problem nothing to worry about this temperature you know uh, building up and the MacBook and you know you're gonna end up cooking eggs over it and cook your breakfast but you can still hear the the coolers okay the fans of the computer okay um, waving out heat cooling down the processor but I believe they did a pretty good job um, as far as I'm concerned okay so um, I hope you guys um, notice as well that this thing is actually nothing to worry about they managed in a couple of minutes to drop the temperature back to 58 which is kind of normal and you now are may notice that the coolers are um, cooling down so to speak the fans are cooling down okay um, another test that uh, I want to propose you is a firing up Final Cut Pro and we're gonna yeah um, choosing the library untitled no maybe not let us I don't know create a new library which we'll call the MacBook test and I will use it for on to edit this uh, video that I made with you okay the movies folder now to import media I have this footage which I filmed today it's in a 4k footage okay so um, I will import this leave five in place create a new project I work review so as you can see the rendering um, is uh, with the Apple ProRes 4444 XQ selected which is the um, the highest uh, uh, resolution codec I'm not going going to go with that. I'm going to with the 422 now, 
also great quality and as I told you these videos are in 4k and I want to preserve that okay so and there with 30p click OK now the computer will render it hopefully at any point don't worry it will get to that switch out the audio okay so basically I have some footage that I filmed today I want to cut some of it and I want to you know maybe make some transitions by the way I'm using the badass transition the paid one so if Arthur will ever watch this video which I hope he will I really don't think Arthur will watch it but anyhow so hello Arthur and thanks for this great package of transitions yeah so you see smooth smooth transition I'm, I'm not using you know the transition I'm not going to show you how to edit in Final Cut <laughs> um, I'm not pretty good at it myself so I'm not going to do that but uh, what I want to do is you know apply some some stuff here okay an adjustment la uh, layer oh too much and with this adjustment adjustment layer maybe we'll um, get some effects and some colors color board I adjust this a little bit and this really more you know, colorful yeah I'm not saying that's correct but anyway so as we are editing Okay, as we're editing, you can see that the coolers started to, you know, build up again some heat evacuation <laughs> and the temperature has gone once again around 80 and there, uh, the fans are intensifying their progress as the computer is starting to render this file and the the effects that we um, that we applied on okay so if we we will apply more effects um, let, well just for the sake of it I don't know I I never actually um, did this kind of uh, you know stuff I, I don't use the final cut effects I'm trying to keep my footage as clean as possible okay so maybe with this drops of water you know maybe we'll do some more let me cut this part over here okay and this one over here okay and maybe you know on on this footage maybe we'll add some uh, okay, slowing down things yeah maybe add another transition here okay maybe he will drop a frame or two but the way it works is magical and I want to remind you that this is 4k uh, video okay okay so I don't want to stretch this video any longer um, this is a uh, seven minutes footage um, let's for the sake of you know so the sake of numbers uh, let's make it a five minute footage okay 
and um, let's try to export it okay it will be called macbook review but anyway okay here yeah, next yeah in the movies save and now we wait so that's it guys the video is rendered you can actually see it while we are recording it once again once again um, this is raw footage so don't blame me for the shakes of the camera Oh, this is cool. This is actually smoke coming out of uh, my wooden fence while the sun was hitting it. So anyhow, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe if you like this video. Um, like it, dislike it. I don't know. Maybe it will come on useful for you. Maybe it will be useful for you when you are uh, undecided whether you want to buy or uh, not to buy the new MacBook Pro. Thanks for watching once again, that's it.